Convert each equation from exponential to logarithmic form. Express answers with the logarithm on the left side. In part A, convert y equals x squared to logarithmic form. The phrase, a base is always a base, is useful when converting from exponential to logarithmic form. The base of y equals x squared, x, will become the base of the logarithm. Now use the 7 rule to fill in the boxes so the logarithm returns the exponential form. The logarithmic form of y equals x squared is the base x logarithm of y equals 2. In part b, convert 10 times x to the power of 4 equals y to logarithmic form. We need to isolate the power before converting this to logarithmic form. Divide both sides by 10 to isolate the power. The base of x to the power of 4 equals y over 10 x will become the base of the logarithm. Now use the 7 rule to fill in the boxes so the logarithm returns the exponential form. The exponential form of 10 times x to the power of 4 equals y is the base x logarithm of y over 10 equals 4. In part c, convert y equals 1 over 3 to the power of x to logarithmic form. Set up the logarithmic form using a base is always a base. Now use the 7 rule to fill in the boxes so the logarithm returns the exponential form. The logarithmic form of y equals one-third to the power of x is the base one-third logarithm of y equals x. In part d, convert the square root of x equals 3y to logarithmic form. We write the square root of x as x to the power of one-half. The base of x to the power of 1 half equals 3y, x, will become the base of the logarithm. Now use the 7 rule to fill in the boxes so the logarithm returns the exponential form. The logarithmic form of the square root of x equals 3y is the base x logarithm of 3y equals 1 half. In part e, convert y equals the cube root of x over 2 to logarithmic form. Write the cube root as the exponent 1 over 3. In logarithmic form, this is the base x over 2 logarithm of y equals 1 over 3. In part f, convert y equals x minus 3 squared to logarithmic form. In logarithmic form, this is the base x minus 3 logarithm of y equals 2. In part g, convert y equals k to the power of x over k to logarithmic form. Subtract the exponents to get y equals k to the power of x minus 1. In logarithmic form, this is the base k logarithm of y equals x minus 1.
In part h, convert 10 to the power of y minus x equals a to logarithmic form. In logarithmic form, this is the base 10 logarithm of a equals y minus x. When the base of a logarithm is 10, we normally don't write it. This special case is called a common logarithm. The answer is log a equals y minus x.